Today's mass murder was allegedly to avenge Muhammad, a prophet in Islam depicted in that French magazine. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez spoke with a UCSB professor of Islamic studies. And Tori, you have a better understanding why these images are so controversial. That's right, Beth. Islam does not allow for images of any religious figures. Professor Juan Campo tells me that this latest act of violence will have greater implications on Muslims around the world. To kill someone on the basis of a picture, two-dimensional picture or any kind of picture, uh, just seems to be uh, beyond reason. Professor Juan Campo says this is a horrific crime and it's an assault on Muslims because of the violence that's being done in the name of their religion. At least 12 are dead and 11 wounded at Charlie Hebdo, a weekly magazine in Paris. So it satirized uh, Christianity and Judaism, Islam, other religions, as well as other subjects that are not connected with religion. And, uh, and this has been part of their freedom of expression. I think that uh, you have some radicalized Muslims that have decided to use them as a target. But it's the images of Muhammad that seem to spark the massacre. It's kind of bad rationale for you're uh, being a little bit upset about stuff that's printed in a uh, magazine. It's a little bit, they've gone a little bit overboard. Elizabeth Stewart heard about the killings early on and thinks the shooters contradict themselves. Retribution is in the Quran God's responsibility, Allah's responsibility. So then that human beings take the role of Allah is actually more of blasphemy. It violates a core it probably has an even more core value found in religions, and that's respect for human life. There are about a dozen UCSB students studying abroad in Paris. Campo tells me that their study center is just blocks away from where the shooting happened this morning. He tells me the university is in contact with them and that they are safe. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3.